Alice Gill syndrome is a truly devastating, uh, burdensome condition. It's caused by a genetic mutation in the jagged notch signaling pathway, uh, and that's a pathway that's relevant for vascular formation. So Alice Gill syndrome presents with uh, a number of uh, systemic uh, issues across cardiovascular uh, and most prominently the liver uh, and some other organ systems as well. So they, they present with severe cholestasis. Uh, that shows up in the form of a, a often a severe itching or pruritus that really is impossible to understate how troubling this itch is. It's described as being beneath the skin and something that it's an itch that you can't scratch. Uh, and a lot of times in the way that patients describe what they're experiencing, there's nothing approved to treat it. Uh, so in terms of the course of care and journey for these patients, uh, they're typically being managed to try and address the itch, but without any real satisfactory uh, treatment options. And ultimately, the majority of them progress to liver transplant as the uh, final treatment option to address this, this cholestasis, uh, driven by severe disruption of bile ducts within the liver. So uh, Allagil syndrome uh, really is in a tremendous need for, for new therapeutic options. Uh, and that's where, why we're so excited about Merilixabat and the uh, filing that we have in. Merilixabat's an oral, uh, minimally absorbed agent. So it's uh, delivered, administered in the form of a, a liquid solution. So it looks kind of like children's Tylenol. Uh, a relatively small volume uh, is administered to the child and it blocks the reabsorption of bile acids in the small intestine. So we don't see systemic drug ex exposure at any meaningful levels, which is a real uh, advantage in, uh, in these settings where all you're thinking about is target engagement within the small intestines. When you block that bile acid reabsorption, bile is passed out into stool. And through that, we can reduce the systemic overload of bile acids in these, uh, in these children. These children will have extremely elevated circulating bile acid levels measured at, uh, in our, our pivotal study that we filed uh, at baseline, they had over 280 micromole per liter. That's compared to normal being eight or 10. So many times over uh, normal. And that's quite uh, relevant in w when you're thinking about the potential damage of what these bile acids can do. They're digestive agents. So uh, they're not meant to be at that level uh, circulating within the body. That's what's causing a lot of these uh, severe symptomatic uh, burdens. It causes uh, xanthomas, which are uh, lipid deposits within the skin that can be disfiguring or disabling for allergial syndrome patients, and also drives some of the progressive liver damage with toxic levels of bile acids uh, present in the liver uh, as well.